talk about the format that, of, that you, you selected. You talked an, earlier uh, in this interview that you tested these techniques and your friends tested them. But what you did in the book, is, which is very interesting, is you wrote this. Um, you started in October and you ended in October. So it was a full year. And you went through different topics like awareness and uh, happiness. I'm reading here self-love, gratitude. Um, reality creation. So how did you come about uh, sort of this format, or how did you come with the idea, come up with the idea of creating this type of format? And actually, did you spend each month taking time to um, develop or work around the topic of the month? The one-year journey idea comes from an ancient belief that you need one year of training to master a certain school of thought. That's why the book is divided into 12 chapters, which stand for 12 months. Yes. And approach the issues that you mentioned and that I uh, mentioned before. Another, uh, let's say, explanation for this is that I wanted this to look also like a kind of um, training course. Okay. So usually okay. university starts in October. That's why I wanted it to start in October and not, for example, in January. And I also started writing um, the book in October. It took me quicker to write it than one full year, but um, I really like the idea of structuring uh, knowledge and uh, of planning how you're going to get where you want to be. So uh, the book is quite structured and there are 12 chapters and 24 exercises. Yes. I don't know if you've counted them. And so I believe that if you uh, know exactly what you want to know and you plan uh, the time of when you want to uh, have possessed the knowledge, then that's exactly what you will be able to accomplish. So let's talk about these, uh, some of these exercises and some of the topics. I in your sort of experience, what would you say out of these 12 months, what would you say that are maybe three of the most important lessons that you've learned while, write, while writing this book and perhaps some of the feedback you got from other readers who've, uh, who've benefited from your book? Uh, while writing the book, I met so many amazing people, uh, scientists and shamans, masters of ancient schools of thought, mediums, psychology said, professors, I'm sorry, so, Alinka, many, so many people. You said shamans? It, could you maybe, yes. could, what, what are shamans? It's um, a person who, uh, let's say, leads a certain, uh, maybe not tribe, but a group of people who, who still believe in things that people used to believe many, many, many years ago. Okay. So you met all so, these great uh, people, yes. I met, I met those people, yeah. Um, they are uh, referenced in the book, so you can actually check uh, who those people are. And uh, I learned so many things. But if I was supposed to choose three lessons, the first one would be appreciation. Okay. Now, let me explain this um, a little bit more because it seems very simple, but in fact, it's extremely relevant. Uh, I'm sure that everybody has heard somewhere that we are what we think, but what I have discovered recently is that we actually become what we deeply appreciate. Oh. So if, for example, you want, yeah. So if, for example, you want money. Yes. Which is what everybody wants. Right? Most people, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you want money have to appreciate abundance in every possible way. And you certainly cannot condemn people with money. Because many people seem to want to have more, and yet when they see others who are spending plenty of it, they condemn them in a way. They have a sense of injustment or uh, injustice, or they feel resentment. Mm -hmm. And you cannot get to that place if you condemn the people who already are in that place. So the next time, uh, you see people who are making a lot of money effortlessly. We need to appreciate them, bless them, think, oh, this is wonderful. We should express love towards them. And in this way, we uh, get ourselves closer to where they are. Um, what actually works best for me when somebody's trying to explain something to me is I like to hear a story from their life. Okay. 
the same. So I do share. I love stories.